If you don't know the name Anna Zamora, you will after tonight. She's one of the First Lady's guests at the State of the Union. Allowed to stay in the country under the president's immigration policy, she'll be in the gallery to highlight the need for immigration reform. And right now, the president has the country's support for it. 52% approve of his immigration policy, with 44% disapproving in our new NBC Wall Street Journal poll. But digging into the numbers, you'll, you'll see only 15% disapprove of the policy itself. It's a policy that's, a, that's very personal to our next guest. As a California dreamer, she's made it her, mission, her, her life's mission to fight for the rights of undocumented immigrant students. Disappointment! Love! Depression! Wow. Joining us now is Italia Garcia and Democratic Congressman from California, Mark Takano, who invited Italia to be his guest at the State of the Union tonight. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having us. So as I pointed out in the NBC Wall Street Journal poll, 52 percent of Americans favor immigration reform, but there isn't so much, uh, so much support for it on Capitol Hill. So, uh, Congressman, I guess this question is to you. What are the chances that the Republican-controlled Congress will actually do something, send a bill to the president that he could sign that would bring about comprehensive immigration reform? Well, realistically, I don't know that this Congress, uh, the, this Republican-controlled Congress, is prepared to do anything at all. Uh, they had a tremendous opportunity in the 113th Congress to pass the bipartisan Senate bill, which had 14 Republican senators uh, sign on to it. Um, it was a terrible tragedy to me that uh, we did not have a vote in the House, that democracy was not allowed to work. Um, I believed, along with many others, uh, that that bill would have passed had it been allowed a fair chance, had it been allowed an right. up or down vote. Right. I tell you, I wanted to get your thoughts on, on recent actions by House Republicans. As you know, they voted to <clears throat> block the president's actions on immigration and specifically to end the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program that allows dreamers like yourselves, uh, in some cases, to be able to stay in the country without fear. You know, they seem to view this as sort of a chance to make a political point, an empty symbolic gesture. Do you view it that way or do you view it as a, a, more of a direct attack on your community? It definitely is a direct attack towards our community. The immigrant community um, is going to remember these attacks on it. And when it comes to 2016, it's definitely something to keep in mind. The Latino vote is very, very important. And the community, when it feels under attack, we definitely fight back. Yeah, absolutely. That's a good point. And Congressman, I mean, you know this, the president hasn't always satisfied activists on immigration. In fact, up until his latest um, executive action, there was really a lot of anger that he wasn't bold enough. Um, are activists satisfied? Are you satisfied? And, and what more would you like to hear tonight from President Obama on this? Well, I'm very clear uh, that the immigrant community uh, knows that President Obama is on their side. Um, I believe that the president needs to stand strong, call on the Congress to pass uh, the Homeland Security funding bill uh, to stop messing around with our national security. Mm -hmm. um, uh, folks like Italia are not a threat to our country. Uh, she and her parents are very hardworking people. If we were to deport them, and uh, along with 11 million other people, we would actually hurt our economy. Um, if we had passed the comprehensive immigration bill uh, that was done by the Senate last uh, session, uh, we would have grown our economy uh, by a significant amount, uh, more than it, w than, than it is now. Congressman Mark Takano, Italia Garcia, thank you very much.